Once again, to hand out some hardware, it's the Watson Rockford 13 on your sidelines MVP from week eight. And before we announce the winner, here's a look back at the three candidates. As the regular season winds down, these three stars are taking their game to an even higher level. Here they are, the candidates for the week eight edition of the 13 on your sidelines Watson Rockford MVP of the week. It wasn't for a lack of trying, but Northview could not stop Caledonia's Carson Vanderhoff last Friday night. On 20 carries, the senior running back racked up three touchdowns and 331 yards in a blowout victory for the Fighting Scots. Meanwhile, it's easy to see why Grand Rapids Christian head coach Don Fellows calls his quarterback Eason Hardwin one of the best QBs in the state. In the win over East Grand Rapids last week, the Eagles senior led the way with four touchdowns and 293 yards passing. Finally, Muskegon's Karen Martinez has a chance to be our first two-time MVP award winner this season. In a statement making 53-0 win over Mona Shores, the senior quarterback rushed for 170 yards, scoring two touchdowns on the ground. In addition, he passed only six times, but still managed to throw for two touchdowns and 117 yards passing. They did their jobs, and you did yours by casting your vote. And now it's time to announce the winner. And that winner is Cameron Martinez. He's now a two-time winner this year of the Watson Rockford 13 on your sidelines MVP. Now, obviously, Cameron is not here, but we're here. Cameron, by the way, tonight, he had a good excuse for not being here. He's taking the ACTs tomorrow. Yep, so all the Big Reds wanted to come and celebrate with him, but they all got to go to bed early because they got a big test. Prioritizing academics, well played young men. Now, it's funny because it, it, talking about the ACT, it got me thinking. I actually never took it. I took the SAT. Mm -hmm. You took the ACT. Mm -hmm, long and, ago. And you did pretty good on it, right? I did. So it's funny that you mentioned that because I'm going to test Jeez. you on your knowledge. This is a math question. It's supposed to be an easy question. My favorite subject. And if the cheerleaders want to play along here and try to answer it, remember, no calculators. You can't even write this down. It's got to be all in the head. So here's the question. A car averages 27 miles per gallon. If gas costs four dollars and four cents per gallon which of the following is closest to how much the gas would cost for the car to travel 2727 miles you have 44 44 so 44 dollars and 44 cents 10908 that's b c 11880 d 4804 or e 444 dollars and 40 cents so quickly to the cheerleaders anyone have an answer All right, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, I can't repeat the question, but I appreciate it. I heard a lot of C's there. Jamal, what do you got here? I got $408.04. I didn't hear what, what option that was, but I got $408.04. That, that's right. Money. How, Nailed it. That's amazing. You're Tell ready. To, we can only hope that Cameron Martinez tomorrow has this much luck. I, I hope so, too. <laughs> Again, congratulations, Cameron.